Hello everyone, Blue Shock here. Today we'll be learning how to make your own train horn loop and uh, end sound file to make your own horn pack for Gmod. Now a few people have asked me this, how to make it and to make a good horn loop, and it is too difficult to explain via text or rather to explain over and over. That's why I am going to make this tutorial video so that you can know and people who ask can know. So the first thing obviously you're going to want to do is actually find a video. Now I have a picked up a video here, which is an M5, then my horn pack request. So I actually have my horn pack here. Uh, shameless uh, plugin, here's my horn pack. Uh, you can download it now. Uh, it's free and it, allow, it has a lot of great horns and I think you should download it because it has some good horns and you can learn how to make your own horns on there. Uh, we do have quite a bit of people. Uh, TS200 and a couple other servers uh, use this sound add-on, so make sure you download it and download all the parts, which means the second part. Anyways, back to the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to actually want to do is get a horn loop that actually is good. Now, the few tricks to this. One, it has to be a long, can't be a short blast. It has to be a long blast. It has to be clean. The you know, coil has to be nice, and there can't be any background bell sounds. So like a train bell or an engine might completely ruin a great horn. I've had many chases of this uh, happen to me. There are a lot of good horns out there, just completely ruined by the environment. And so we're going to be completely quiet. Uh, not completely quiet. Actually, doesn't matter. But here we go. So the first program we're going to need is uh, Audacity. Audacity allows you to make audio editing, and it is free. Free to download. Uh, download it on its official website. I'll put in a link below so you can find out where how to download it. And from there, you're going to make sure it's set on Windows Wasabi. Uh, uh, make sure it's set to your computer, your uh, your headphones, not your, um, your speed, you know, your headphones and then your headphones. This uh, or a stereo mix, my bad. That would cause it to uh, record your PC audio. So let's uh, go ahead and start recording it and play the horn. We'll stop it there. Make sure you have enough. Uh, Cut in between so you can make clean. Now, this is where it's first, first start the drum is cut off of this. You do not need no sound. Now, we're, the main horn is from here. So, what we're going to do is take a little listen and we're going to cut it. So, we actually want to start here and actually zoom in to uh, actually tell where the, what starts at. So, it actually seems to start right here. Make sure you don't hear any horn. Alright, with that, clean. Yeah, that's a blip. Gotta be careful where you hear that. Uh, it's, okay, so this horn seems to have a bit of an echo to it. That's okay. If it does, you can always just make sure you get a tiny bit, a very, very small amount of it, and do a fade in. However, usually you do not need a fade in. Uh, this is usually makes really dull horns, but in this case, it could help us stop the blip. So let's listen to it now. It seems to be a good. Right, so I've had no help to it, and I think it'll be fine. Most horns will have it, and it should still be fine. I think I'm going to be audacity. So let's listen to it. So we got the first half. Uh, oops. Right there. So this is the second part of the horn that we do not want. So completely get rid of that. And now we have a good half. This is a quill. And then you have the main horn. But you have the off and echo. Now, how much echo do we actually need is what we're going to cut off next. So, obviously, that's too much echo. You're going to have to cut it somewhere. Basically, what do I do? I'm just trying to get a border here like that. I cut that out. 
clear now. So now what you're going to want to do is to take the echo and listen to when it sounds good and then you can cut it. Right out here. So let's cut a little bit off from that way we want. Ideally, so let's see what we want. So let's listen to that. So actually just uh, cut the burp. Now here's a big catch. You don't want to fade off of this usually because it sounds really bad. Horns don't fade off. But however, since this is the echoing of it, it makes you want a tiny blip in this situation. If you have a situation where the horn echoes off and just has a blip, just do what I'm doing here. If not, uh, you don't have to listen to this at all. Do a fade out, tiny fade out, so it doesn't affect the horn. Now let's listen to the horn. You hear that? It sounds clean. Perfect. Now we have the echo in the front. So listen to the entire horn before we're doing anything else. Now that we listen to the entire thing now, what you want to do is to now amplify it. Now if you notice something, listen, watch. See this? It's only gotten ever to that high. Now, this might sound fine, but in Gmod this will be awfully quiet. Now because of this, what you're going to want to do is to take it, go into effects, and amplify. Take this, turn on 5, you got to listen it out. There's a point where it doesn't get any more loud, and it starts to break uh, the audio quality. So be careful now. Let's listen to it now, see how much louder it is. Notice how it actually reached the maximum it could show. I don't, I think it's almost loud enough. I think I'm going to crank up to 6 to see what happens. I think that's fine uh, uh, in audio uh, <laughs> uh, in the loudness. Right, so now what you want to do is now actually take separate the front and end of the horn. So the first thing you want to do is identify where the horn starts before we make it clean the loop of the horn. Because the horn needs to be looping. I say this might be fine. Let's listen to it. Yeah, so this is actually almost perfect. I think it's something like that. Perfect. So what we want to do is take the beginning of the horn, uh, and where it begins to start a quill. Either your horn, your horn may or may not quill. And if it doesn't quill, just take a small bit where the horn starts to have the loop. And make sure not take off too little or too long. If it takes too long, the horn will be smaller, and that could cause more blips, and that's not good. So take, make sure you do that. So take that, and you want to make a... What I usually like to do is to put it in our audio file. You know, it is technically less efficient. It doesn't matter. It still works. And I can actually cut the entire thing. So, it's fine. Now you hear that? That right there is a the end. So now we need to make the take off the end from the main loop. So let's listen to it where it begins to end. See the echo. So obviously it's gonna end here, but we don't want that because that'll be too close to the end. We want something more where the still loop is still going on. Close, but that would make the horn uh when you like kill the horn in the E2, that would cause it to last longer than the person wants. So you want something more like this. That's too short. So you probably want something about here. Not bad to rate when it's about maybe the two second mark. Perfect. This leaves two seconds behind, which is just enough to make a decent loop out of that. So let's take this. Delete that. Now you have what's left is called the main loop. This is what we'll, you'll be using to make the entire horn. So copy that, and you want to click that and paste. Before you click anything off again, you're going to go to Effect. You notice something. Listen to the horn now. It does not sound good. You know that? It just blips. And you might say, oh, well, I can just merge it, right? You could merge it, but it wouldn't sound very good. What you can actually do is reverse the horn, and as long as the horn is not cooling, like you know, full blast, you won't really notice that it's you know, reversing. Besides, right here. So let's just take a listen now. 
So you notice, any, besides the middle area, you couldn't really tell it was in reverse. So that's what we're going to do. So now, what we want to do is zoom in a bit. And take this. So this is a blip. This is not good. You don't want a blip. So you want to take uh, about even on each side, highlight it, go to effects, you want to go to cross clips, crossfade clips. Now that will merge, so merge it. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like. You hear that? You hear that? But where it goes, it sounds like it goes in and out. That's not good. People will hear it on a horn loop. That's bad. That right there. So what we're going to do is go back. And we're going to still do crossfade clips. We're actually going to do it again. This usually fixed a little blip. So let's listen to it. That's right. Do you hear the difference? If you might have a keen eye, a keen ear, uh, you might be able to hear a small blip, but let's listen to it now. Did you hear it? That sounded like the entire horn. So what we're going to do now is take what you just had, highlight it, copy it, paste it. You see a trend. Repeat what you just did. So take about here, even inside, crossfade, crossfade clips again. Now here's a little other thing. You can tell it looks like it might mimic again. If this happens, you're going to have to just either do that again or highlight another area around it and do that. But we'll listen to it listen first before we describe that more. That uh, went in and out. It sounded like it was reverse, which is not good. So what we're gonna do instead of reversing, we're gonna keep that and just crossfade that, and that might fix it. So now the entire horn sounds like it's a one full blast. When in fact actually a two-second horn blast, and you transfer into a six, six and almost seven-second long horn blast. So we're gonna zoom out and basically repeat the process. Repeat the process. This is basically what the horn is. Repeat it. Now, how long do you want to do it for? It depends. Gmod had a new update where <coughs> where uh, it doesn't matter how long it is now. Uh, you can actually go up to like I believe two uh, two terabytes of how big an add-on could be. But you can actually get errors, go Lua Engine, all that stuff. So you don't want to make it too big. I recommend anywhere around from anywhere from uh, one minute and. 20 seconds to 2 minutes. Uh, just don't make it too long where your file size used to be really bad. I remember back when before that, you had to make multiple packs. I got to merge my packs. Uh, I tried it earlier, it didn't work, but I'll try again. Anyways, getting off topic, let's get back on that. So, crossfade it twice. Let's take a listen. Alright, no blip. Basically, you listen to it, and if it's good, if it doesn't sound any blip, you continue. And you just keep copying, pasting, and eventually it will begin to just sound like one long horn. And then we'll reattach the front, and then we'll save the horn, and we'll save the end. And we'll discuss more about that when it actually comes to. Perfect. So you can actually hear the entire horn, or actually just over 25 seconds. We're going to copy and paste this only a few more times. I think a two, three. We'll see. At this point, you can definitely tell you can't really hear the horn. You can't really see, not hear the horn, um, you can't really see the, uh, the gaps of horn. Yeah, it's because it's equalizing. So let's take a listen here. So at this point, you don't have to, you can be less and less careful about your horn loop, but I recommend just keep nice, do nice and pace and quality, keep the horn. Right? Now the horn is extending here. That's generally fine. You can keep it a little short, anywhere from really here here is fine. So basically just, uh, just do this. It's not perfectly exact. Uh, it's because it's towards the end of the horn loop. Who's going to hold their, hold their horn for 45 seconds? Some will. It's fine. Now we have the entire horn. Let's take a little listen. Not the entire thing. We'll just take a little listen. See what we have made. Alright, so you can definitely tell that they sound like one long horn now. Uh, and because of that, we are, the main loop is done. But we're not done with the actual audio file. We actually do have to reattach our beginning. So this is the beginning of the horn. Let's take it. So let's just grab that, copy and paste. And reattach it to the front of this horn. And then just 
left click on that and we'll get rid of the little blip there and we'll listen to the entire horn now. This will be the actual main loop for the loop file. And here it is, the M5 horn is complete. So because of that, before we go on anything else, let's take the end. Now the end is already ready for us. Um, uh, it's not letting us play because Audacity's gets quite uh, broken whenever that happens. So basically, uh, I'm just going to uh, delete this for a second, but I'll do that. No, it ain't working. All right. So besides this, the horn, the end of the loop, we already know what it sounds like. So basically, we'll, we'll not save the project. Save it as we want to call it. I like to call it what the horn is and then dash and what our number is next. So this in my horn pack, this is, would be the fourth and five end. Make sure to call your loops and ends something different, something that people will know. Generally the standard is oh my bad for burping there. Generally the standard is um loop for the loop horn uh, file and the end for the end. So we're gonna call that that. So that's the end. Uh we're actually going to export this now. So you want to export it. As a WAV file, not MP3, WAV, and put it in whatever horn pack. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna make your own file for it. Uh, if you, I'm not. I'll make maybe a tutorial how to upload your own files. But just tutorials out there, Harry, how to make your Gmod file and file structure. Tutorials out there. So besides that, I'm just gonna put it in here. So now let it save, and now let's go back to our main loop. The main loop is the main loop. Say project as. M4 underscore 4 for me might be called just M5 uh, loop for you underscore make sure you, you can't put any capitals and you can't put any space in your files for Gmod that's how it works so keep it kind like that so basically with that right and down just do loop and you got it done so just export it just like I did WAV file 9b3 loop and it is saved. So there you go. Your horn loop is now done. Congratulations. Um, now before we do anything else, this one in the middle, you don't need anything left. Delete. Uh, in your other files, they should be saved so they wouldn't they would close without resistance like that. Right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions and comments about how you do this, uh, just comment below and ask me and I will respond. And other than that, uh, have a great night guys. I'll see you next. I'll see you next time. Bye.